Yes, yes, y'all. You see it. It is an explosion of flavor. It is twice baked potatoes. Let me show you how easy it is to make, you guys. Stay tuned. What's going on my YouTube fam? Welcome back to another one of my videos. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Today, we are doing a quick, simple side dish. We are going to do some twice baked potatoes um, to go with our um, asparagus and our T-bone steak for dinner tonight. So let's get started on these potatoes so I already went ahead and baked these potatoes I wrapped them up in foil just took them out the oven so they're still a little hot so I already baked these off for a couple of hours so let's remove our potatoes out of the foil Woo. hot hot tamale okay these are very quick simple delicious guys nothing major nothing major just a whole bunch of deliciousness all right hope you guys can see that good uh, okie dokie so what do we want to do first get you a nice little plastic bowl glass bowl whatever you want to use I'm gonna set my bowl right there because that's where all of my potato guts are going to go in two set that right there okay so now we just want to take our beautiful baked potatoes and we just I'm gonna turn it like the the long way instead of the fat way I'm gonna turn it like the long way I'm gonna take my knife hope you guys can see that I'm gonna take my knife and just go right down the middle Woo, that's hot so you take them, go right down the middle, right y'all? Easy peasy, right? Still a little hot to handle, so bear with me y'all. Then I'm going to take my spoon and I'm just gonna start gutting these bad boys out. Woo, they hot, I should've let them cool off. I should've let them cool off a little bit, but it's all good, cause I'm a kitchen warrior. Okay. Get that nice and gut it out like that. Don't go too far down, cause you still wanna um, keep that, you want your uh, potato half to keep its form. So don't try to go not too far down, y'all. I wish I had bigger potatoes too. These are the uh, biggest ones they had. So I'm probably gonna do about that much. See that? I was nice and hollowed out. See there? You see? Okay, so boom. So now let's take our halved potato or our gutted potato and we are going to stick it into our baking um, dish. So, what I'm going to do, you guys, is continue to uh, gut the rest of these potatoes out and I'll show you guys what I put in my filling. All right, my YouTube family, let us begin to season up these potatoes. So, the seasonings that I am using goes as follows. We are going to use some of this bombdiggity.com buttery steak house seasoning. Bomb. Just a little smidgen. Just a smidgen. A sprinkle. Okay. Um, of course, some chop, chopped chives, of course. Fresh chives, even better. If you got fresh chives or even fresh scallions, bomb, y'all. If you have scallions, fresh scallions, I would actually prefer those, but I don't have any. If you have those, try this potato with some fresh scallions, bombdiggity.com. We're going to go in with some salt-free seasoning, just like that. Onion salt, just a wiggle wiggle, black pepper, boom 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 boom, 
and what I did behind you guys back okay is I already went ahead and melted me some butter this is butter and whole milk and minced garlic and I let that come to a nice simmer boil that off and so what we want to do is start pouring that in make sure we get some of that garlic definitely some of the garlic okay don't pour it all in because you don't want no soupy potatoes you want a nice hearty potato so now let's give this a stir just want to add that um, milk and butter mixture slowly slowly but surely and if you cook your potato long enough in the oven you don't need no potato masher you see how my spoon is just getting that my spoon is just getting that nice and mashed up okay so now let's go in with some more milk butter and garlic boom also while I'm at it I'm gonna go in with some sour cream boom also since we feeling frisky let's go in with some sharp cheddar cheese just like that and since we're in a frisky mood I already went ahead and fried two pieces of bacon here see all that bacon fat don't you worry about that get that bacon right on in your potatoes don't worry if a little bit of that bacon fat gets in there because you know what bacon fat is flavor let's give that a nice stuff what is a loaded potato without bacon come on now y'all know y'all know I have bacon somewhere in the cut you guys know it looking good I'm not going to OD with the cheese um, in the, with this filling because I'm going to sprinkle a little cheese at the top. Okay, so that's nice and sturdy. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Perfect. Perfect. Don't do it. Perfect. Boom. Just like that. Now, let's move this to the side. And here is our gutted out potatoes. Okay. Move this over. Move this over. So now what we are about to do is the obvious, you guys. We are going to fill in our potato halves. Now you could go ahead and like season this or add some butter at the bottom of this or um, do whatever you want to do. You know, do whatever you want to do. I'm not going to do that because this this mixture right here is filled with so much flavor. It just don't make no doggone sense. So, see that? See how pretty that is? Look how pretty. Hearty little potato. Okay? So, just repeat the process. Repeat the process until all of your little cute potatoes are filled with this delicious flavorful mixture easy peasy fill them all up ain't nothing to it but to do it see that easy nothing to it but to do it and like I said this would be so good you guys with um some fresh scallions is what I usually use but I don't have any and guess what I wasn't going to the store either okay we got this one filled up here like that 
Then we got our last one here. And we got a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of potato um, mixture left. So find the one that's lacking and show them some love. Let me see this one here, right here, Lena. Let's show this one some love. That's it. See, I don't got a lot of, I don't even got a lot of filling left. See that? But we gonna use it all because we ain't got no food to be wasting. Scrape those edges, get that out your way. Let me see where you want to go. Where you want to go? Right here? Mm-hmm. Where you want to go on the edge? Do you? Okay. Set that up straight. These are looking wonderful. Look how quick. Quick and easy side dishes, y'all. That's what it's all about. Quick, easy, delicious side dishes, man. Okay. So. So I do that out my way now what I'm gonna do is sprinkle some more cheese let me get a napkin y'all to wipe my wipe my hands off okay now we're gonna go in with some more cheddar cheese just a little bit so it could be nice and pretty and bubbly you know when it come out oh ooey gooey bubbly Sprinkle it down just like that. Just like that. Let's go in with a little bit more. A little cheese ain't never hurt nobody. Well, a little cheese probably did hurt somebody, but we gonna just we ain't, we ain't paying no attention to that right now. Go in with a little bit more. There we go. I'm also going to, for color, go in with a little bit of ground paprika. It's gonna give it a beautiful color at the end of the day. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to get these bad boys in the oven on 350. And I'm gonna bake them until the cheese is nice and golden brown and ooey gooey delicious looking. So here is another close up. There we go. Here's another close up of these beautiful potatoes. And as they bake, that bottom skin is gonna get nice and crispy too. You could just devour the whole thing. So let's get these in the oven, y'all, on 350. We're gonna bake them till they're golden brown and I will be back to show y'all the finished results. All right, my YouTube fam, here is the finished results for the twice baked potatoes, cheesy delectable, just good, just flavorful. You know what they kind of remind me of? You know what these kind of look like? Because the potatoes is kind of on the smaller side, it's like potato skins. They look like loaded potato skins. But these are how they came out, you guys. I am very satisfied. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me pick one up for you guys. It came out, whoa, it's hot. Came out really good. Skin, nice and crispy. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, that skin came out nice and golden brown and crispy. As always, I thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until the next time, you guys, everybody stay safe and stay blessed.